Well, Paul, um, you should know that you weren't the only one who was sneaky in the house. Josh, I want to turn to you because during your goodbye messages to the evicted house guests, you gave them an earful. Let's show Paul and everyone what we're talking about. Listen up. Paul came up with an elaborate plan in order to get you out. And I've been in the final three alliance with Christmas and Paul for a while now. I hope that you can respect the game move, but for my game, I had to let you go. Raven, I gotta let you know, I have a three-person alliance with Paul and Christmas. Honestly expected my alliance to keep you, You're but sorry. instead they voted to keep Kevin. I'm so sorry. Alex, I've had an alliance with Paul and Christmas. I had to stand by them and make this move, and I'm so sorry for the move, but I hope that you can respect it. Kevin, I've been aligned with Christmas and Paul, and our goal was to get a final three, so I'm so sorry, but you were our last target. Josh, yeah. <laughs> explain to everyone what your intention was when you recorded those messages. Blaming um, it on me. No, I didn't. <laughs> Listen, honestly, I just wanted them to know that um, it was all for game. I gave Christmas and Paul my word and my loyalty from the week one, day one, and I stood by them. Um, but I just thought, in order for me to win, they didn't know my game or they didn't know what was going on, and it was kind of my way to explain to them what was going on because nobody had any idea. Everybody was lost, and it was the only, without ruining my game, it was the only way that I can let them know that the plan and that I was going to stick to them to the end. All right, yeah. you are shaking your head, Paul. What's your response to what you just saw? Um, honestly, I think it's a little cowardly to toss the blame, but I think he gave me credit in and of itself because I did have to take him this far because I was hoping that I could beat him. So 